But Dr. Scott Gottlieb, commissioner of the Food and Drug Administration, believes this time really could be different. Thank you all for coming. Last year, Dr. Gottlieb proposed a historic plan to help save the lives of America's 38 million smokers. It involves reducing the amount of nicotine in cigarettes and encouraging committed smokers to become vapors instead. If every smoker today switched to an e-cigarette, would America be safer? Yes. The hope is that you can wean smokers off of tobacco altogether and off of nicotine altogether. For, but for a component of smokers, if we can migrate them onto less harmful products, non-combustible products, the presumption is you're going to be reducing risk in an adult population. So nicotine, to be clear, is not a cause of cancer. Nicotine's not, it's all the components of combustion. Nicotine is not a completely benign compound. It has side effects. But the cause of cancer and the carcinogens in tobacco are the products of the combustion. In other words, it's not the nicotine that will kill you. It's the smoke. But Gottlieb and others are quick to point out that what may be helpful for adults looking to quit is also enticing for teenagers. Vaping can deliver nicotine to your brain, reprogramming you to crave more and more. Don't get hacked. How do you balance the interests of adult smokers with the risks associated with teen use? Well, this is the challenge that we have. You're hooking a generation of young people on nicotine, and some of those um, youth will become long-term users of nicotine and maybe long-term users of e-cigarettes. 